as they take on SMU. Case Keenum completed 22 passes against Tulane last weekend. And that was enough to move him past Timmy Chang in the second all-time in career completions. Heading into this game against SMU, he trails only Graham Harrell by six completions for the NCAA record. With Keenum healthy and back under center this season, the Cougars offense leads the Bulls subdivision in scoring, yards per game, third down conversion percentage, and yards per play. In 09, the last time Keenum played a full season, Houston led the Bulls subdivision in total offense, passing offense, and scoring. All right, the numbers, they're absolutely staggering that Houston continues to put up. And, you know, I'm just, I'm not sure people are ready to buy Houston as a legitimate team in the BCS that should be playing in a BCS game. I'm not sure people are ready to buy Keenum as a true Heisman candidate because all I keep hearing, it's the system. It's the system. Anyone in that system would put up huge numbers. Are you buying that? No. I am not buying that. That is lazy, in my opinion, to say that. A system is just a series of decisions you ask the quarterback to make. By that definition, Andrew Luck of Stanford is a system quarterback. The question is, how effective is that system of getting guys into space, which is what all systems do, and how good is the quarterback at, at accessing that space? And that's what Houston does. They access and manipulate space. Take a look at Keenum calling an audible. He sees at the bottom of the screen space that the defense leaves vulnerable. So he calls a route combination to take advantage of. It starts with the receiver at the bottom clearing out. That leaves all this area for the linebacker to have to cover the slot receiver on an out route. It's a simple throw and catch in a 12-yard game. It's not magic. It's not gimmicky. It's smart quarterback. Now, sometimes they have to manufacture their own space. There's a lot of guys here. So they run vertical routes to clear out the area they want to attack. That leaves Charles Sims, the intended receiver, with nobody else in the screen but one guy. All that space is cleared out because of the way they structure the pattern. Now, the reason they have so many yards is because they're really, really good, and they don't play a whole lot of top-notch defenses. It's not because of the system. Against a defense like LSU or Alabama or a top defense, a 20-yard gain against a Conference USA defense might be a 10-yard gain. But those spaces exist against the top defenses. The question is, are you good enough to access it? And I believe that Keenum and his uh, core of, of skill players is good enough. Well, if you just look at the numbers, he should win the Heisman Trophy. I mean, his numbers are better than everyone else's, and they're undefeated. But here's the argument against Keenum for the Heisman Trophy, and that schedule you talked about is in there. They're littered with teams that just don't have good defenses. The team with the highest-ranked defense of the Bulls subdivision on Houston's schedule, it's SMU, which they play next, which is 33rd. Three of the Cougars' opponents, North Texas, Rice, and UAB, rank 102 or worse. That's right, but that doesn't change the fact that the two starting wide receivers, Tyron Carrier and Pat Edwards, both run about a 4-3-40 against any defense. Charles Sims, their running back, runs a 4-4 against anybody. Okay. They're good enough. It, it doesn't change that they have players. It doesn't change that Keenum's really good. I guess what it changes is, do we really know how good Houston is? Well, not yet. And unfortunately for Keenum, from a Heisman standpoint, the votes will be cast before he gets to the bowl game. And it really would be a bowl team defense that he faces where he'll be able to really show that he is that good. And it's not just a matter of the defenses that he's faced. All right. And, of course, game day will be at this game to give you an idea. They're buying in. They think Keenum is the real deal. And, uh, I mean, are you ready to, to take him to New York City for the Heisman Trophy? Does he Absolutely. belong to be there? I believe that he does, not because of his stats. I would be more impressed for him putting up 350 yards against a defense like Alabama in, in a potential Sugar Bowl matchup than I do putting up 600 yards against somebody else. All right, where does Case Keenum fall in your Heisman vote? Well, uh, follow us at Twitter at CBS Live, and the best tweets will make the end.